Hi everyone, um, this is my second video, uh, so it'll be an update of where I am with my weight loss, but also I just wanted to uh, talk a little bit more about um, who I am and my backstory um, and things like that. I want to thank everyone that uh, liked the video and subscribed to my channel. Um, I know last time I was really, really nervous and stumbling over my words and uh, a friend of mine she her name's JJ she's a beach body coach and she does a lot of uh, like meal prepping videos and things like that for her Facebook group and uh, she said you should have a paper with some key points on it so I have that today but I promise I'm still gonna stumble over my words sometimes um, and be nervous I remember uh, my husband he he was trained and worked in the radio industry and he one time got me to do a pre-recording of the weather pre-recorded not even live and uh, I really really struggled to uh, not be nervous and to actually record it so um, this is a big thing for me to actually do videos um, but I find that when I know I'm accountable uh, I'm more diligent and also uh, with intermittent fasting and if it fits your macros uh, it's been really the first thing that I've done that I've been so, so excited about that has uh, driven me to want to make these videos. So um, I'm still going to be kind of a flake, but also um, I'm trying a lot harder to be um, more honest and real about things that a lot of people probably try to keep on the down low like with regards to food addictions and sugar addictions and um, like depression and anxiety and, and mental instability and um, I, I have had long 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 term issues um, with emotional eating and like secret eating like feeling like I needed to hide uh, eating bad foods because I have always been um, overweight and obese and super obese and and all of that uh, my highest weight was right around 275 and that was after um, I was pregnant with my second child whereas previously as I mentioned in my last video I had gotten down to um, about 160 so that was quite a bit of a a weight gain there and um, so I've tried lots of different things to combat not only the weight issue but um, like the reasons behind the emotional eating and the secret eating and the secret binging and um, like I've done like counseling and therapy and Overeaters Anonymous and even hypnosis and all of these types of things to try to figure out and fix um, the the things behind it and um, with those habits in combination with me not being driven or motivated to be the true person that I know I can be um, it uh, it really affected my marriage my husband could see that um, that I was struggling and it ended up becoming really hard for us um, you know lack of trust with regards to finding out about this secret eating and basically self-sabotage um, I remember a time it was after Easter and I always used to do the post Easter run for junk food and and he found my stash one time like 36 Cadbury eggs hidden in a bag in the bottom of my purse um, Stuff like that would happen all the time and I would feel like every time I needed to get groceries I would have to buy some kind of junk food to have in my stash um, You know like if whatever I bought like if I bought three three for five dollar family sized chocolate bars and I would think to myself part of me would think to myself oh this will last um, but then part of me inside knew that 
it wasn't gonna last and it never would and whatever I bought would be consumed within that day and many times I would just eat myself sick um, and always feel awful afterwards, you know, that gut rot and just feeling terrible and, uh, and all done in secret. And so that's not, that's not an appropriate way to live. That's not a way to be a happy and healthy person. And so, like I said, it really affected my marriage and that in combination with some other things ended up, um, my husband and I separated, uh, last summer. And so uh, we are back together now. We got back together at the end of January, so it's all good now. But um, I really needed that time apart to find out how to be a better person on my own and um, to find out that I could be a better person. I could be more driven and motivated and accomplish all sorts of different goals that I had um, for myself and so that really helped in not fixing everything obviously but um, to help us realize that we could still remain together as a couple especially for our two children that we have um, an eight-year-old son and a five-year-old girl and um, we are members of the the Mormon Church, so we got married um, in the Halifax Temple, and so we, because we believe that our marriage uh, is for eternity or forever, uh, we didn't want to just kind of say, okay, well, we're done and let's get a divorce. We um, we wanted to try really hard to to make it work so that we could remain uh, a forever family, and so. Um, it's it's been very good since we've been back together as a family and I've been able to um, work on these things on my own and with his support um, and when I found out about intermittent fasting it was just kind of like that um, piece that that fit in with where what I was already trying to work on in other areas of my life um, and how I found out about intermittent fasting uh, was there was a, a recipe for um, like a healthy protein candy bar that was either reposted from somebody in my Facebook feed or it was a sponsored uh, post I'm not too sure but it was from Dr. Sarah Solomon and uh, you can Google her she's wonderful she's a a dentist that practices out of Toronto um, but she's also been a, a pro fitness model I'm not sure if that's the exact term um, but she uh, she had been to the point where um, in getting show ready she was uh, to the point where she was down to like 900 calories a day and doing three hours of gym time every single day two hours of cardio and one hour of uh, of weights and um, that in combination with the the 900 calories of like chicken and asparagus or chicken and broccoli um, just she wasn't happy and it wasn't the way she wanted to be living her life um, and so she took some time away from that um, you know because she wasn't happy with it she says that the only time she really wanted to or felt comfortable with being photographed was when she was just about to be ready for a show um, and she said that if she strayed from the the 900 calories through hours of working out, she would just blow up. Um, so she knew that something needed to be changed and fixed. And um, so she did some research. Uh, I think she said she took two years and she, she did all the research um, and uh, started to do intermittent fasting. And she does CrossFit as well, which is amazing. Um, I got introduced to CrossFit when I was in that Biggest Loser competition in Grand Prairie, Alberta in 2011. Um, it was sponsored by CrossFit Gym, and so that's where I learned about CrossFit and Paleo. Um, and so she, she switched over to the intermittent fasting and just found a completely changed uh, experience for her 
both on a um, physiological level and a mental and emotional, which I can completely agree with. It's definitely helped me um, in terms of uh, that food addiction because I'm not feeling as deprived. Like I do make sure that the majority of the foods that I'm eating um, are clean and but then I do have um, some flexibility with regards to um, like I said in the previous video foods that would previously seem to be restricted and um, and it, it it's comforting to know that um, that that rigidity and that deprivation uh, is no longer there um, and a lot of people are like well aren't you super hungry all the time and how can you stand it and um, I've found that this is four weeks in for me um, one month ago today is when I started and I found that within that four weeks the the hunger during the day has subsided quite substantially substantially and um, it's almost as though my body has gotten used to that it's going to be eating from about 4 30 or 5 30 until um, about 9 30 at night uh, so that's been good and in that four week period I've been able to lose 15 pounds um, so 15 with intermittent fasting and 45 altogether and um, so it's it's been really good for me um, physically obviously with the weight loss but also um, helping to combat that emotional and mental um, issues that I had with with food and um, I I found that uh, there's a lot of people that when it comes to food are very um, restrictive and there was uh, a function that that I was at and uh, they were handing out cookies and it was uh, my my husband's grandmother was sitting next to me and she's like oh you better you better not take one of those and uh, I was like well isn't that just always the way that people look at it like if you're in dieting mode you can't do that. You just can't have that. Um, but that's what sends me into, oh, I have to be restrictive, I have to deprive myself, and then it turns into freaking out and binging and hiding in my car and eating a extra large blizzard in secret. So now my thought process is, well, if it had been within the time frame that fit with my goals for intermittent fasting, then I certainly would have had it. And it wouldn't have been a problem. I wouldn't have worried about it. Um, and I would have just continued on with my day. But I did decline because it, was, it, it wasn't time for me to break my fast yet. Um, and there was another uh, function that we had where the lunch was served. And uh, I went in and sat down and just had some water and good conversation with the people that were there and they were like well doesn't it bother you to watch people eating and I said well no it's it's I know that I'm gonna eat when it's time for me to eat and that's not a problem um, so it's definitely worth it if it's uh, something that you want to give a try ultimately everybody needs to find what works for them um, and this is just happens to be what's working for me in my life right at this time. Um, so I'm going to continue on uh, doing these videos weekly. I'm going to uh, try to get them done. And I do want to improve my skills with regards to like video editing and things like that. Um, I'm pretty, pretty creative and good at figuring out things, how to do things on my own. Um, but if any of you have any recommendations for um, video editing software, that, that you think would be good to use you can comment below and uh, definitely uh, you can like this video if it's something that you've enjoyed watching and you can subscribe to my channel and uh, that'll help to just keep me motivated uh, to be accountable to you all to share with you 
the, the events that are taking place during this weight loss journey of mine. And uh, I will see you guys next week. Thanks.